That's a funny face. Holy shit, dude. I, I haven't looked at it yet. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Zero to 60 and what could be the most highly anticipated episode we've ever done. Yeah, there's been plenty of comments in plenty of videos asking you to get this bloody car on a dyno. Yes, now I come up with the idea yesterday and the video that went live and I it kind of, I kind of just wanted to see the comparison between the 6AT and the DCT. I'd always intended to dyno this car, but I wanted to wait until sort of everything was sorted out with the 17Ts and they were like wound up with a kill tune, which we're not there yet. But I asked the question, you guys said you'd like to see it in a video. And Scott from Cleveland Exhaust or his more famous YouTube channel, Nugget Garage, actually messaged and said, if I can get the car here on Sunday, we can run it up on his dyno. So here we are, literally not even 24 hours after that video went live on a Sunday to get it dynoed. Yeah, that's the plan. And look, I want to jump straight into it. What do you reckon it's going to roll? Oh, look, I don't know. Um, it's doing low six one to twos, which is cool. Is it very low six, like yeah. 6.1? Um, I don't know if it's quite as fast as it was with the old setup, but it feels really rapid. Um, we sort of pulled on that F90 the other day. Yes. It feels quick. Look, I'd, I'd like to see, and don't forget in Australia, we never seem to get quite as happy numbers as you guys in America get. Um, we will talk about what type of dyno this is once we get inside. But look, I'm hoping to be around 550 wheel horsepower. Okay. That's very, uh, very fair, very fair estimate. Yeah, I'm not trying to toot my own chain here. If we can get around 550, I'm going to be happy. Um, closer to 600, the better, but it's not on a kill tune. I'm currently running, looking at the logs, it targets around seven degrees of timing around the mid-range RPM, up to about 6,800 RPM, it will target 8.6, and just over 6,800, I'll, I'll, I see nine degrees of timing. So it's not much timing. Not a kill tune at all. And I am running E85, uh, I've got no meth, but yeah, it's not an aggressive timing. This is how I drive the car around. So keep that in mind as well. This isn't a wank me off dyno number, this is a reality dyno run on how people can drive these cars with a semi-safe tune. So Scott's going to be here any minute, let's get the car warmed up and we'll get it up on the dyno. Let's do it. Alright, so we've got the car on the dyno, uh, Scott has helped me mount it up. It is a hub dyno, so we're not going to have any issues with wheel spin or anything like that. Um, we might talk about the differences in dynos later on, but this is a dyno tech hub dyno and Hopefully it's friendly. I think these are a little bit more friendly than Dyno Dynamics rollers. So I think we're just gonna have to get up to temp and do some power runs. Guys, this is the moment where you have gotta guess. What do you think this car is gonna put down at the hubs? Yeah, keep in mind that these are the China 17T turbos. You're running a PI plate. Yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty much, this is still my pretty basic setup. Everything that's involved in making power is like the cheapest you can get. Uh, it's even got Chinese Warbro still in the tank. Um, yeah, and JB4, let's see what it does. I'm guessing, like I said, around that 550 wheel horsepower, but put your comment below, see who gets its closest guess. Let's do it. Let's do it. Like the growth stop? What model is this? Uh, 335. Um, but, where is it? Differential is 3.46. 3 litre. What do you reckon the finish band is at fourth gear? Uh, it is about two, about two ten. Two hundred. And once you go wide open throttle, how much stabilisation time does it mean? Is it this is six point one four second pull, and you basically you just run the thing up as it. As soon as the wheel starts moving, it'll say it's driving up to 65 p's an hour and it'll tend to go wide open and just hold it. Hold it and let off the throttle. When you, it, should, it should stop the dyno. Well, it will try and fit something around 200, but when you first pull, you may have to, um, you know, if it looks like it's going to go to 250 or something, just back off and it'll change the finish speed. Okay. No, I didn't. Do that. I just clicked 50 at around 200, but I'm doing one series. But I only told it was a 26 inch tire. I don't know what the tire is. So that's it. You yeah. Just click space bar to start. Oh, it just yeah. So normally when I, I don't use that, I'm not, I normally do a full manual, but I do so many freaking cars a week, little different. Yeah, okay. 
that should work. So that's going to give me it's a... It's got a 220 ramp rate, which is probably what I'd use on 500 push rear or horsepower car. Okay. I don't know where you are. It doesn't affect the power rating, it's just how, how many... How fast the second that allows it to do it. So, uh, sweet. Alright, well, I'll give it a go. Alright. Okay, so... We are going to run the car on the dyno myself. Scott's giving me a very quick rundown on how to do it. We're running, I don't really know all this sort of stuff, it's a dyno dynamic software. And we'll probably try and speak to Scott about exactly what's going on and how it works out powers, but we have put diff ratios in, tire sizes. Um, so it should be a fairly accurate number, I'm hoping. But just going to get up to temperature. Okay, so you're pretty much ready? Okay guys, so we're at about 85 degrees C. Intake temp is at 30 degrees C. I'm gonna start the JB4 logging, and we're gonna do the first pull. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Uh, I'm basically just gonna rev it to 7,000 RPM. What's the worst gonna happen? I mean, she's bolted on, dyno's running. Actually, I will turn the fan on on the front. Okay. In second gear, I'm going to go to third. It's telling me to accelerate to 65. Yeah, that speedo's about matching this speedo. Start logging. Scott did say it'd be a bit rough until we get up to speed. That's a funny face. Holy shit, dude. I, I haven't looked at it yet. Holy 622.8 horsepower. That's at the hub. All right, I think we'll go get Scott. We'll just make yeah. sure we haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and it what stopped the? at six and a half thousand RPM. The dyno stopped the car at six and a half. I was gonna say, it didn't sound that aggressive. Holy shit, boy. I'm <laughs> shaking. All right, let's go get Scott. Let's go get Scott. Alright guys, so we're going to go for run number two. We've increased what we can see on the dyno. This has made more power than we were expecting. Um, also, I'm going to rev it out a little bit further. We only went to 6,500 RPM last time. Alright, um, I think we just go again, see what it does. And I'm just watching the taco, so I didn't actually watch the boost gauge, but we've got logs, so we'll, we'll talk about the logs in a second. Alright, let's just do another run. Alright. Starting logging. Okay. Have an issue. Uh, it's just throwing an ABS fault. It'll be because I didn't put a traction control off. Uh -huh. Okay. That fault could have been because of wheel speed and gears. It's really weird going through the gears and not moving. So I got third gear. All right. Ah, oh, shit. It's... Okay, it, yeah. that, that did a run. I went too quick. All right, we'll try so, again. We'll try so again. it's full auto, auto logging or auto, auto dynoing. Third time. All right. I'm just, I'm messing up. Let's get on with it. So once I had 65... Thirty-one. Okay. Thirty-one degrees C. Yeah. So it's pretty warm in here. 
Wow, that's huge. All right, let's just check the logs. We'll see what what boost that was making. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn this fan off. Okay. That is crazy. That's making 26.5 PSI. My God. So fourth gear in the way the dyno, because this is a load-based dyno, it's not like a, a roller Roll dyno on. like the dyno jets in America. It does load the car up. The dyno is actually what's restricting this revving. Um, so it does put it under a heap of load, but yeah, 26 and a half PSI. It, um, it, it's ridiculous. Boy, it's a really nice graph too, isn't it? We should do like YouTuber things where we like scream. And make oh my God. It feels quick. To be honest, I was thinking it was going to be kissing 600 because, like Austin said in the 0 60 chat, he said an automatic that's snapping axles, it's got to be a lot of power. That's true. Well, there you fucking go. Sorry about my, I can't, I'm a bit excited about that. Let's turn the fan on, we'll turn the fan on. Yeah, yeah. All right, so just sort of check quickly on the graph. Uh, I'm not gonna bother to get Scott to print this out, but we've taken lots of photos of it. You can just see I was actually wide open throttle for longer on the second pull, the pink line. Um, and it is a little bit below the red line until you get up the top, and I guess it's just gotten hotter as the car's sitting there. Um, but yeah, dude, that's a nice curve. This is the horsepower over here, obviously. It just comes up at 625 through a ZF6. Wow. It's not bad. No, Scott was saying, um, with these hub dynos, the ZF6 works he said pretty similar to a manual. He does a lot of barras with the ZF6 HP26, I think they've got. Um, and he said the barra ZF6 is all dyno, pretty similar to a manual, where I thought this was going to lose a lot more power. Uh, apparently they don't. So yeah. that's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I didn't realise that. That's freaking... I'm still pretty wild and out about that. Yeah, it's, uh, that's plenty of power. Oh, I'm just going to make on the DCT. Yeah. I don't really make. Let's bring up the graph actually because something that you've got to take into account with anyone that's dynoing their car or bragging about numbers or times is how aggressively it's tuned um, because often settings will be adjusted for that dyno pull yeah this is how i drive the car that's that second that last pull that we just did I'm like shaking i can't believe made so much power um and these lines down the bottom are, are my ignition timing you can see it's starting to pull timing on a few cylinders when we get up around what are we when we get up around 6,100 RPM. So we've got a few little timing corrections in there, but I'm not too stressed about them. But you can see there, oh, right, up over around six and a half, we are targeting 9.3 degrees. It's still 9.3, nine, there. But yeah, peak timing, 9.3, which I've had this car at 11 degrees of timing before. Um, I really runs 11. And a lot of people run much more, like Declan's M2 is running 18 degrees of, no, 16 degrees of timing on his M2. So we've got pretty safe timing for E85. You're also only, was it 26 PSI boost as well? Actually, I'll Isn't show them properly. And actually, I'll, I'll overlay a screenshot, but the blue line is actual boost and the pink line is target. And 26.8 PSI. So it's, I mean, it's... At six and a half thousand. There's plenty of people running more boost than that on these cars, on these engines. That is... This thing's made some decent power. The eBay China setup. The whole... This is the budget. This was the budget Beamer, the budget build. And it still is. The only thing that's sort of a brand name product on it is the Miltech exhaust. Everything else is just <laughs> which, cheap China stuff. Which you bought the car as the cheapest 335 in the country at the time. Which had. And it had the Miltech. So it's, it's far is, from an expensive 335 I build. This is nuts. And... I really don't know what to say. Yeah, it's amazing. It's done me proud. Done you very, very proud. However, I do, I'm kind of interested to see what I really would do on this type of dyno. The oh, hub yes. dyno, not the, not the roll dyno. Because um, it really feels like it's got another 150 horsepower over this. Yeah. Um, and you've got no gears to play with. Where this, having the different gear ratios makes it feel quite quick as well. Oh, guys, I think it's time. Do you now, while you're here. Hit up JSR and get him to send through a kill tune so you can make a really big number on the screen. <laughs> Look, I could. <laughs> um, I haven't even told JSR I was going to come here and do this because it's, it's a bit of a, it's a sneaky tactic that a lot of people use, especially with YouTubers, where they'll, they'll give it a special tune to make it make some special numbers. But this is legit how I drive it. JSR has no idea I was coming to the dyno. Um, that's 
fucking sick. That's that's why you were pulling on F90 M on a tuned F90 M5. That puts it at probably 750 engine horsepower. Yep, and that is Team N54 for the win, guys. If you want to get involved in the epic Team N54, you know what to do. Link link in the description. Yeah, actually, if you are interested in what we're doing, please support us because this car. Um, although it was the cheapest in the country, YouTube has encouraged me to spend about 30 grand on it with different parts, the brakes, different wheels. I am going to single turbo it and I'd really like to see this with an 8 at the start of it. Um, and we've also got the DCT swap. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on. So if you're interested in seeing it and helping support us, waste all of our money on the, uh, the BMWs, please jump on the shop and buy some merch. Or support us in the membership program if you're not from, not from locally and we can't post. Thank you everyone in the comments has helped build this car and give me advice along the way because that's fucking serious. It is awesome. All makes right. You, makes me want to go and do a one to two in it now. I think that's the next thing. Um, I haven't driven it with this much boost much until like the last week. So I'm keen to go and see what we can do one to two. In fact, I think that's going to be a job for tomorrow morning when it's nice and cool. Oh yes, good thinking. Good All right thinking. guys, let's end it off there. Catch you on the next one. Peace out. That's fucked up.